Hey everybody, welcome back to the AWS series. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to set up some command line. So if you're using AWS, you're really going to want to get into the CLI. And you can do that with SSO also. You can see when you click one of these, it also says command line or programmatic access. And here's what it does. So you can see these, these are temporary. Time you've seen them. It's because it has a session token. And so they only last, I believe it's an hour by default. But to connect in, you could use Windows, PowerShell, Mac OS and Linux, either any of these and it will give you how to do it. Now, one thing that I like to do is to go into multiple accounts. So if I want to go into this, this account, so I'm in this account right now, I'm in this, uh, the org account. I want to open up this link, but let's say then I, I, I want to check out dev. I got to check out dev. So I go to the management console there and so what happened over here? Look what happened. Sign in again. You're not signed in. So you can only sign in in this account once. So here's a cool um, program. It's called Granted. And this is the easiest way to access your cloud. It's really nice to manage multiple accounts. It really, really is pretty sweet. So what we want to do is let's get started. Let's do this. So it's on GitHub. Grant it. And what we'll do is we will install. Let's take a look at this, what we have to do. So it provides a fast experience finding and assuming roles, encrypt cache credentials to avoid plain text, SSO tokens being saved on disk. Let's see how we install this on Windows. Let's figure that out. It's been a little while. Um, install granted. Here we go. Windows or Unix. That's what we're going to go to. And let's go to Windows. Grant it. Here it is for x84. Let's install this. So it downloaded that. You'll need to move Grant it to a folder that's accessible in your path. Okay, so let's try this out. Let's uh, show in folder. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab this window, bring it up here. And we're going to extract all. Okay. So we want to put this in the path. So let's figure out a good place to put it. Okay, let me bring up the path. So here's our path. We could add a folder, but let's just use, let's see, let's just use this. We'll just dump this in Windows. Um, let me see. App data. I like that one. That one works. Let's do that. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll bring up a 
Explorer. Let's do this. Let's bring up another one because I don't really want to. Okay, I don't want to overwrite that because that's where I'm just going to copy those files from there. I want to paste that Windows apps, and what we'll do is we'll just dump it in here. That ah, should be fine. Let's just do that. Okay, assume granted. Those are the programs. All right, so now let's go back here. And if we open a window, let's open a window up here. Let's do this. Now we want to just try granted. Granted dash V. And this should tell us if it's installed right. Yes, looks good. Okay. Now the other thing I know that we need to do is to install the AWS tools, the AWS CLI tools. Let's make sure we've done that. Um, I don't know if it's installed on here already. AWS, let's hit that. Nope. Okay. So to do that, we're going to go to google.com AWS CLI tools. And right here, pick that. And let's see, where's the download? Ah, here it is. So we're downloading the 64-bit installer for Windows for the command line. I'm going to just run that. Okay, it's come up on the other screen. Let me bring that over. Click Next. Accept. Next, next, install. So this is the command line interface V2. That's what we're installing. It's going to ask me if I want to allow it to make changes. I'm going to say yes. Okay, and then we click finish. All right, so now if we open up, let's go back to our command line. Now we should have AWS, should work. Might have to reopen this. Let's try that again. And I'm gonna run it as administrator. And now we should have, let's see, granted. Let's make sure that's installed. And then AWS, and that's a good sign. It looks like it's trying to find, yep, there it is. So, okay. So now that we have that assigned, let's go back to assuming roles. It's gonna walk you through how to assume roles. So the first thing we want to do with this is let's log in to AWS. Let's do AWS configure SSO. All right, so session name, recommend it. Um, let's call it, let's call it Chris. 
start URL. Okay, so I need my URL, which I'm going to get from here. And if I click this, it's going to bring up the URL right here. There it is. It's going to be the start up to start. Do I need the HTTPS? I don't recall. We're going to find out. I think maybe. Yeah, I think I think we do need that actually. So let's grab that. Let's just come. We'll just copy the whole thing, and then what we'll do is we'll edit it on there. Okay. Okay, it's not pasting in. Let's see. Copy. There it is. And you just need up to start. Uh, we'll use US East 1. That's what we're using right now. And that is fine. Okay, so what it's going to do is it's going to open up a, a browser. And there it is, authorizing the request. And it's going to say, allow the Bodacore client Chris to access your data. We're going to say allow. And that should be it for that. Let's take a look. All right, so now it's going to say there are three accounts available, right? Because of our SSO access, we'll connect. Let's connect to dev using the role. Yep. And CLI profile name. That's fine. So now we should be able to use this profile. And see our S3 buckets. And there's no S3 buckets, right? So let's create an S3 bucket over there. I think we're in dev right now. Let's just make sure. So we're going to go into dev. S3 and we'll create a quick bucket while we're in here. So I'll just go to create bucket and I'm just going to do it right here. It's going to be in the US East one Chris org bucket one. So remember these names have to be universally not used so looks good let's do this do this let's see if let's see if that's one's already taken hopefully not and there we are so we have Chris org bucket so now let's demonstrate how that works and now we should be able to see that so now our command line there it is, Chris Org Bucket 1. So there we're able to command line. So now if we do AWS SSO login, it's going to tell us, so we already configured it. So now what we want to do, let's take a look at what it created, what ha actually happens behind the scenes. So if we go to this PC, Windows Users, Chris, and there it created this .aws account with CLI and config. Now if we go in here, let's open this with, we'll just open it with Notepad.
So basically what I like to do here is just create in here SSO session, account ID, SSS, SSO role name, and probably the region. So I'm going to create this in this account. And do I need the start URL? Okay, so in this config, what I'll do is I will create profile and I'm going to call this dev01 administrator access okay and then what I'll do is I'll do I'll get my SSO account my role name grab those two and I will get my SSO region, which is going to be US East 1 for this, and my start URL. That should be all I need. So let me grab those. Alright, so that is dev. Let's pull copy this, we'll pull it, we'll copy and paste these, control V, control V, and this will be prod, call this one prod, the only thing we really need to change is going to be the account ID, and this one we will call Chris Org. So that's my first account. So now let's go to, let me actually move this over, put this in half the thing, and we'll keep notepad over here. And what we'll do is we will go to my apps, click there, bring this up, this will show us all the account numbers. And we've got dev already accounted for. Prod, let's do that. Let's grab the prod account number. I think I just pasted that. I did not want to do that and then paste. Okay. And then the Chris org account. Okay. And then we'll save this. So the cool thing is once you SSO log in, you're really logged into every account you have access to every account you have in your in your list. Whatever you have permission for, you will have the access to just by logging into one of these accounts using the profile. So, okay, so that is saved. Our next step, and I'm going to show you this, this is where we we're going to use assume So it's called granted, but you use the command assume. And let's just make sure it sees that. And okay, thanks for using granted. By default, we'll open the AWS console with this browser, Edge. So I'm going to say no to Firefox. It's going to use Edge. That's fine. 
I'm going to say no to that. All right, so now let's assume and if you just put in the profile name right the profile name that's defined over in that AWS in this config file so let me show you that again let's open with we'll open with notepad So what I'll do is I'm going to connect like this, dev1, copy, and we will assume. Okay, so that's giving me, I want to stop that because I think I did not have to type, okay, profile should not be there. So what just popped up, popped up over here. And it wants me to log in. In here to Chris R, which I'll, I'll do that. And I will prove this on my Authenticator app. And say yes, I approve. And I'll say yes to stay signed in. And it's going to ask me if I want to authorize that request. So I just used assume to open this account and watch, I click allow. And that just gave me access right now to dev01 administrator access. Session credentials will expire within one hour. So what I can also do, that will just open command line. If I do dash C, and do this again here's what happens it pops up in this account now here's the cool thing so you can see we're in 7197 4160 let's take a look at this watch this so the, here's the fun part this is this is where it becomes more powerful we're going to type prod in here And right here, we've opened up prod. So what you can see is that we're in 0686, right? We're in prod. And we can also go here, let's go to S3 in dev. There you can see we have a bucket. Click next to get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's finish that. And if we go to over here, this is not this is prod. Let's go to S3 here. We've got different profiles open. So you see, you can see there are no buckets here. No buckets. So the, this is a different account. This is dev. This is prod. So we can have both open. We can do comparisons. We can see everything. So what I like to do is basically create shortcuts. So just create a shortcut. I'll, I'll, I'll create a folder here. Let's do a new folder. And we'll call it AWS. And I don't know where it went. So let me open it up in here. Let's open this, but let's open it up here should be on the desktop AWS and we'll create a shortcut so new shortcut I'm 
I really don't care. Let's see. Um, I'll just say that. Go next. And the shortcut's going to be AWS dev01 account. Okay, so now I'm going to go in here and do properties on that. And what I'll do, don't really want a URL. So I did not, I don't want an internet shortcut. So I think I have to, have to change that. That's not right. So let me try something else here. Let me delete that. So new shortcut. So it's really should be a file. Okay, hold on. <laughs> this is this is harder than it should be. So shortcut, location of item, I'm just going to go this PC and just say, I don't really care here because I'm going to change it, but let's just say drivers. Okay. Yeah, whatever. So I've got a drivers one. So let's, let's just go to properties and what we'll do here, target. So here's what we'll do. We'll do assume dash C dev zero one. Is it backslash? Let me double check. Slash slash administrator. Access, okay, okay, and then we'll rename this. So this will be AWS dev 0001. And if I click it now, it should more info assume dot bat run anyway. Yep. Of course, I want to run that and it pops up in the same account. Now, if I close this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. Let's copy, cancel, 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 cancel. Show more options and we're going to copy this, copy, and I'm just going to paste it. Let's just do control V. Control V. There we go. Um, let's take this one. And we'll call this one prod. And we'll call this one org access. So AWS Chris org. We'll just call it that. And then we'll go in and go to properties and it's going to say assume and this is where we're going to change which one did I click let's go to one that I want to change properties and I want to change this to prod prod okay and I want to change this one properties to Chris org
Okay, Chris Org. And that should be good. And now if we click prod one, this should bring up prod. Let's just make sure. 0686, that is prod. We've only been to S3. So this allows us to just be able to control where we are and what we're looking at. So it's, it's really useful to have this, this kind of setup. And I can easily open multiples. And this will come in handy when we're doing configuration such as Terraform, things like that. So thank you for watching. This has been a little bit longer than I had hoped for, but it's it was a good one. So thank you for watching, and please subscribe.